Morning folks, right after finishing my uh, Axemen, two-handed cutting men yesterday, I thought right, time to get on with some spearmen. Um, I need a mix of axe and spearmen to go as second rankers behind the knights that I finished last week. So here we go, 12 spearmen, I'll make some progress, back soon. Right, men at arms got carried away with those. Uh, I've added the dark tone with the blue tone wash for the metal work. And I've just put um, various shades of uh, leather colors on to the uh, leather gambesons. And I've just done a wash on them now. You can see a bit shiny. So I've had various washes, soft tone, dark tone, brown tone, flesh wash, marron brown and sepia. <laughs> So I'm trying to get that real mixed up, that's a particular, I like that one. Real mixed up colours of all the various leathers. Well, I've got some of the stockings that are in those sort of browns as well. Yep, also you can see them showing up hopefully. We've got here, oh that's a, that's a sepia, oh, that's a sepia that one. A little bit darker, but it works for me. And what else have we got here? This was, a, that's a brown on a khaki not as impressed it's okay you're not as impressed with that but it is okay um, that was another different brown on a khaki and that seems to work better yeah that one has definitely worked better see all these experiments I do <laughs> and another dark brown and then um, I'm not sure what color wash that I had on it but it is uh, it's looking the part yes so metal work and leather work finito and another one there with just the stockings done so it's now going to be tunics on some of them uh, it's got to have some leather work on that or tunic colors what have we got one two three four five tunics which will be reds and yellows and greens and blues or whatever i decide um so i'll get those finished and i think then <laughs> okay these figures are so quick um, I mean I missed the stage of filming, I didn't sort of bother me, it's, it's very quick to get through these. Um, yeah, it's gonna be weapons brown and belts and buckles after tunics. Um, so I'll get on with the tunics now anyway and get those sorted. Uh, so back soon. Okay, a bit more finished. Um, what have I done now? Colours have all been added on and shaded and uh, stained. And I've just put some nice little white crosses on the backs for the uh, Cross of St. Denis. Uh, so now it's um, belts and buckles, the spear shafts and flesh tones. Um, so I think I'll come get those finished and then come back for a final roundup. So back soon. Okay, there we go, all finished. That's the 12 spearmen. Um, no problems as you'd expect, they're just nice and basic figures. They do uh, they look, do look nice I think when they're done. I mean that to me is a particularly nice figure, just works out well. Uh, nice creases in the fabric. Uh, yep, no problems. Uh, right, um, I'll take some stills of these to put at the end, but I think what I'll do now is get the rest of the figures out and we can have a look. Uh, at them I think I'm possibly at the basing stage so back in a tick right there we go as you can see that's the um, the mass of the figures so over the bank here are the uh, spearmen I just finished 12 of those and there's 12 there's actually 15 various um, spears and 200 cutting weapons 200 even 200 cutting weapons from the other day and then at the front here we've got these are the knights I did last week, or possibly the week before, I can't remember. But, that's the mass. So I think it's time to get stuck in to do some basing. Uh, I think that's what the next video is going to be. I think time to base these up. I may have to do a few command groups, not too sure. Um, anyway, thanks for looking. Um, that's the spearman you tuned in to watch. So. Thanks a lot and bye for now.